live from WYLN Hazleton. This is WYLN's Late Edition News at 10 with meteorologist Joe Garbacci, sports with Ken Karam, anchors Lisa Sugar, and L.A. Tyrone. News, features, and more. You're watching WYLN's Late Edition News at 10. Welcome back to Late Edition. We're pleased to welcome to our studios once again State Senator John Udichak. Thank you for being here today. Thank you. And you are here again to bring us some very important information on the gang awareness sessions that you've been hosting. The third one is coming up uh, next week, so we want to make the public aware of what is transpiring. But we, before we get to the specifics about that one, how has it been going with this entire process to try to give the message that we're not going to tolerate gangs in this community? Well, more than a year ago now, uh, Congressman Barletta and I uh, joined forces in a bipartisan fashion, bi-county, regional approach uh, to raise awareness uh, about gang activity. I mean, uh, in 2011, the U.S. Department of Justice report uh, clearly provided evidence that there was growing gang activity in the 81 corridor uh, uh, between uh, Scranton and Hazleton. Uh, and we're seeing it more and more, uh, dramatic violence in our community. Uh, and so we wanted to get the community uh, engaged uh, in a regional solution, in a regional approach to tackling uh, gang activity. And, and the response from the public has been fantastic. The public has really rallied around this cause. Uh, in our first two series, uh, our, first, our first two forums, we've had over 500 people that have attended. Uh, the one at Penn State Hazleton, the one at Kings, and now May 3rd uh, at 6 o'clock at Luzerne County Community College. We encourage the community to come out because this is a community initiative. It's not a law enforcement initiative. We're here to support what law enforcement does, and they do a great job. Uh, the local police, Chief DeAndre here in Hazleton, the state police have really done a tremendous job. The FBI, the regional task force, a tremendous job. But this is about getting the community, getting into our schools, into the community, raising awareness, educating the community, and, and getting the community in, onto a comprehensive approach to tackling drug activity, gang activity, and crime in our neighborhoods. And to help make that happen, you told me that you have met with superintendents and you're hoping to have sessions actually implemented on Act 80 days in school districts as well. Yes, uh, Lackawanna County, uh, our partner, the, uh, most if not all of those schools already have uh, uh, programs on their Act 80 days where a gang expert comes in, Bob McGuire, who, who operates out of, out of the uh, Lackawanna County Prison. He goes in, educates the students and the administrators. Uh, we want to do that. Uh, Congressman Barletta and I have met with all 11 superintendents in Luzerne County. There's tremendous support, there's great buy-in, and we hope to do that, uh, that Act 80 service day where we educate our educators about the signs to look for. And then to get it to the law enforcement, uh, uh, get it to the law enforcement so that we can see. It's, it's very uh, disheartening, it's very alarming when you see that kids as young as 8, 9, 10 years old are the targets of recruitment. That these gangs will go to our elementary schools, and unfortunately we had a horrifying accident uh, incident uh, here in Hazleton where a 13-year-old girl uh, was abducted, taken to a playground, and beaten uh, in, in what Chief DeAndre said was just a horrifying uh, gang-related crime. That's exactly why Congressman Barletta are, are shoulder to shoulder to fight gangs, to keep them out of our neighborhoods, to give our law enforcement the tools to address this, this growing activity. Now the third session of five is coming up on Thursday at Luzerne County Community College. So tell us what we can expect that evening. This is about uh, a community approach. And so we're bringing our faith-based organizations, our churches, our church leaders. We're bringing other organizations, folks that represent uh, the ethnic diversity of northeastern Pennsylvania, bringing them to the panel. Uh, this is, is, is going to, again, be a regional approach. It's going to be a community uh, approach. So we are engaging with the community. One of the most important things that people have to understand about this is we're not trying to focus a spotlight on uh, a community problem without offering a solution. This is really about, and this is what this panel will be about uh, at the community college, about giving a positive pathway to those at-risk kids. Uh, those children that are here and perhaps their parents aren't living here, they're living with uh, relatives. Or uh, as uh, Dr. Uh, Antonelli at uh, the Hazleton School had mentioned this phrase, it really stuck with me, couch homeless. Where we have kids living on couches of either a friend uh, or a relative and they, and they don't have an identity with the 
community. They don't have a connection to their school, and that's when these gangs prey on those at-risk kids and give them an identity. Unfortunately, it's a criminal identity. We want to give positive pathways. The Hazleton Integration uh, Project by Joe Madden, fantastic project. We were very fortunate. Representative 2NL and I were able to secure some initial startup funding for that project, about $200,000. Uh, we're going to continue to fight for a project like that because that's going to integrate uh, you know, our growing Hispanic population into the greater Hazleton area so that we can be one community. No one in this community wants to see kids preyed upon. No one wants to see drugs in our schools. No one wants to see crime in our neighborhoods. So this is, again, Congressman Barlett and I, Operation Gang Up, fighting gang activity in our community. Senator, it's a pleasure as always Thank to you. have you here. Again, this Thursday evening at Luzerne County Community College, WYLN, of course, will be there. And we will be back with more Late Edition coming up right after this.